The Hardy-Weinberg principle, also known as the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, model, theorem, or law, states that allele and genotype frequencies in a population will remain constant from generation to generation in the absence of other evolutionary influences. These influences include genetic drift, mate choice, assortative mating, natural selection, sexual selection, mutation, gene flow, meiotic drive, genetic hitchhiking, population bottleneck, founder effect and inbreeding. In the simplest case of a single locus with two alleles denoted A and A with frequencies F A. Topic P and F A. Q, respectively, the expected genotype frequencies under random mating are F double A. Topic P two for the double A homozygotes F A A. Q2 for the AA homozygotes, and FAA equals 2 PQ for the heterozygotes. In the absence of selection, mutation, genetic drift, or other forces, allele frequencies P and Q are constant between generations, so equilibrium is reached. The principle is named after G. H. Hardy and Wilhelm Weinberg, who first demonstrated it mathematically. Hardy's paper was focused on debunking the then commonly held view that a dominant allele would automatically tend to increase in frequency. Today, confusion between dominance and selection is less common. Today, tests for Hardy Weinberg genotype frequencies are used primarily to test for population stratification and other forms of non random mating. <laughs> Derivation Consider a population of monoecious diploids, where each organism produces male and female gametes at equal frequency, and has two alleles at each gene locus. Organisms reproduce by random union of gametes the gene pool population model. A locus in this population has two alleles, A and A, that occur with initial frequencies F0 R. Topic. P and F0 R. Q, respectively. The allele frequencies at each generation are obtained by pulling together the alleles from each genotype of the same generation according to the expected contribution from the homozygote and heterozygote genotypes, which are one and one half, respectively. The different ways to form genotypes for the next generation can be shown in a Punnett square, where the proportion of each genotype is equal to the product of the row and column allele frequencies from the current generation. The sum of the entries is P2 plus 2 PQ plus Q2 equals 1, as the genotype frequencies must sum to 1. Note again that as P plus Q. Topic 1, the binomial expansion of P plus Q2. P2 plus 2 PQ plus Q2 equals 1 gives the same relationships. Summing the elements of the Punnett square or the binomial expansion, we obtain the expected genotype proportions among the offspring after a single generation. These frequencies define the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. It should be mentioned that the genotype frequencies after the first generation need not equal the genotype frequencies from the initial generation, e.g. F1 AA does not equal F0 AA. However, the genotype frequencies for all future times will equal the Hardy-Weinberg frequencies, e.g. feet AA equals F1 AA for t greater than 1. This follows since the genotype frequencies of the next generation depend only on the allele frequencies of the current generation which, as calculated by equations 1 and 2, are preserved from the initial generation F 1 A equals F 1 Double A plus one two F one A A equals P two plus P Q equals P P plus Q equals P equals F zero F one F equals F one A A plus one two F one A A equals Q two 
plus p q equals q p plus q equals q equals f zero a display style begin aligned f underscore one text a and equals f underscore one text double a plus t f r a c one two f underscore one text a a equals p carrot two plus p q equals p p plus q equals p equals f underscore zero text a f underscore one text a and equals f underscore one text a a plus t f r a c one two f underscore one text a a equals q carrot two plus p q equals Equals q p plus q equals q equals f underscore zero text a end aligned for the more general case of dioecious diploids organisms are either male or female that reproduce by random mating of individuals it is necessary to calculate the genotype frequencies from the nine possible matings between each parental genotype double a a a and a a in either sex weighted by the expected genotype contributions of each such mating. Equivalently, one considers the six unique diploid diploid combinations double A, double A, double A, 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 double A, 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 display style left text double A, text double A, text double A, text A, A, text double A, text A, 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 A, right and constructs a Punnett square for each, so as to calculate its contribution to the next generation's genotypes. These contributions are weighted according to the probability of each deployed deployed combination, which follows a multinominal distribution with k equals 3. For example, the probability of the mating combination AA, AA, is 2 feet, AA, feet AA, and it can only result in the AA genotype 0, 1, 0. Overall, the resulting genotype frequencies are calculated as F T plus 1 AA F T plus one A A F T plus one A A equals equals F T double A F T double A one zero zero plus two F T double A F T A A one two one two zero plus two F T double A F T A A zero one zero plus F T A A F T A A one four one two one four plus two F T A A F T A A zero one two one two plus F T A A F T A A zero zero one equals F T double A plus one two F T a A two two F T double A plus one two F T A A F T A A plus one two F T A A F T A A plus one two F T A A two equals F T A two 
2 ft a ft a ft a 2 display style begin aligned and left f underscore t plus 1 text double a f underscore t plus 1 text a a f underscore t plus 1 text a a right equals and q quad equals f underscore t text double a f underscore t text double a left 1 0 0 right plus 2 f underscore t text double a f underscore t text a a left t f r a c 1 2 t f r a c 1 2 0 right plus 2 f underscore t text double a f underscore t text a a left 0 1 0 right and q quad q quad plus f underscore t text a a f underscore t text a a left t f r a c 1 4 t f r a c 1 2 t f r a c 1 4 right plus 2 f underscore t text a a f underscore t text a a left 0 t f r a c 1 2 t f r a c 1 2 right plus f underscore t text a a f underscore t text a a left 0 0 1 right and q quad equals left left f underscore t text double a plus t f r a c 1 2 f underscore t text a a right carrot 2 2 left f underscore t text double a plus t f r a c 1 2 f underscore t text a a right left f underscore t text a a plus t f r a c 1 2 f underscore t text a a right left f underscore t text a a plus t f r a c 1 2 f underscore t text a a right carrot 2 right and q quad equals left f underscore t text a carrot 2 2 f underscore t text a f underscore t text a f underscore t text a carrot 2 right end aligned as before one can show that the allele frequencies at time t plus 1 equal those at time t and so a constant in time Similarly, the genotype frequencies depend only on the allele frequencies, and so, after time t equals 1 are also constant in time. If in either monoecious or dioecious organisms, either the allele or genotype proportions are initially unequal in either sex, it can be shown that constant proportions are obtained after one generation of random mating. If dioecious organisms are heterogametic and the gene locus is located on the X chromosome, it can be shown that if the allele frequencies are initially unequal in the two sexes e.g., XX females and XY males, as in humans, F A in the heterogametic sex chases F A in the homogametic sex of the previous generation, until an equilibrium is reached at the weighted average of the two initial frequencies. Topic. Deviations from Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium The seven assumptions underlying Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium are as follows Organisms are deployed Only sexual reproduction occurs Generations are non-overlapping Mating is random Population size is infinitely large Allele frequencies are equal in the sexes there is no migration, gene flow, admixture, mutation or selection violations of the Hardy-Weinberg assumptions can cause deviations from expectation. How this affects the population depends on the assumptions that are violated. Random mating. The HWP states the population will have the given genotypic frequencies called Hardy-Weinberg proportions after a single generation of random mating within the population. When the random mating assumption is violated, the population will not have Hardy-Weinberg proportions. A common cause of non-random mating is inbreeding, which causes an increase in homozygosity for all genes. If a population violates one of the following four assumptions, the population may continue to have Hardy-Weinberg proportions each generation, but the allele frequencies will change over time. Selection, in general, causes allele frequencies to change, often quite rapidly. While directional selection eventually leads to the loss of all alleles except the favored one unless one allele is dominant, in which case recessive alleles can survive at low frequencies, some forms of selection, such as balancing selection, lead to equilibrium without loss of alleles. Mutation will have a very subtle effect on allele frequencies. Mutation rates are of the order 10-4 to 10-8, and the change in allele frequency will be, at most, the same order. Recurrent mutation will maintain alleles in the population, even if there is strong selection against them. Migration genetically links two or more populations together. In general, allele frequencies will become more homogeneous among the populations. Some models for migration inherently include nonrandom mating and effect, for example. For those models, the Hardy-Weinberg proportions will normally not be valid. Small population size can cause a random change in allele frequencies. 
This is due to a sampling effect, and is called genetic drift. Sampling effects are most important when the allele is present in a small number of copies. Sex linkage Where the A gene is sex-linked, the heterogametic sex e.g., mammalian males, avian females have only one copy of the gene and are termed hemizygous, while the homogametic sex e.g., human females have two copies. The genotype frequencies at equilibrium are P and Q for the heterogametic sex but P2, 2PQ and Q2 for the homogametic sex. For example, in humans red-green colorblindness is an X-linked recessive trait. In Western European males, the trait affects about 1 in 12, Q. Topic 0.083, whereas it affects about 1 in 200 females, 0.005, compared to Q2. 0.007, very close to Hardy-Weinberg proportions. If a population is brought together with males and females with a different allele frequency in each subpopulation males or females, the allele frequency of the male population in the next generation will follow that of the female population because each son receives its X chromosome from its mother. The population converges on equilibrium very quickly. Generalizations The simple derivation above can be generalized for more than two alleles and polyploidy. Generalization for more than two alleles Consider an extra allele frequency, R. The two allele case is the binomial expansion of P plus Q2, and thus the three allele case is the trinomial expansion of P plus Q plus R to P plus Q plus R two equals P two plus Q two plus R two plus two P Q plus two P R plus two Q R display style P plus Q plus R carrot two equals P carrot two plus Q carrot two plus R carrot two plus two P Q plus two P R plus two Q R. More generally, consider the alleles A one and given by the allele frequencies P one to P n P one plus plus P n two Display style p underscore one plus c d o t s plus p underscore n carrot two, giving for all homozygotes f a i a i equals p i two. Display style f a underscore i a underscore i equals p underscore i carrot two, and for all heterozygotes f a I A J equals two P I P J Display style F A underscore I A underscore J equals two P underscore I P underscore J Topic Generalization for polyploidy The Hardy-Weinberg principle may also be generalized to polyploid systems, that is, for organisms that have more than two copies of each chromosome. Consider again only two alleles. The diploid case is the binomial expansion of P plus Q two display style P plus Q caret two, and therefore the polyploid case is the polynomial expansion of P plus Q C display style p plus q caret c, where c is the ploidy. For example, with tetraploid c equals four. Depending on whether the organism is a true tetraploid or an amphitoploid, will determine how long it will take for the population to reach Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. Topic 
Topic: <laughs> Complete generalization. For n display style n distinct alleles in C display style C ploids the genotype frequencies in the hardy weinberg equilibrium are given by individual terms in the multinomial expansion of p 1 plus plus p n c display style p underscore 1 plus c d o t s plus p underscore n caret c p 1 plus plus p n C equals K one K N element of N K one plus plus K N equals C C K one K N P one K one P N K N Display style P underscore one plus C D O T S plus P underscore N carrot C equals some underscore K underscore one L dots K underscore N in mathbound N K underscore one plus C D O T S plus K underscore N equals C C choose K underscore one L dots K underscore N P underscore one carrot K underscore one C D O T S P underscore N carrot K underscore N Topic. Applications The Hardy-Weinberg principle may be applied in two ways, either a population is assumed to be in Hardy-Weinberg proportions, in which the genotype frequencies can be calculated, or if the genotype frequencies of all three genotypes are known, they can be tested for deviations that are statistically significant. Topic. Application to cases of complete dominance Suppose that the phenotypes of AA and AA are indistinguishable, i.e., there is complete dominance. Assuming that the Hardy-Weinberg principle applies to the population, then Q can still be calculated from F A A Q equals F A A display style Q equals S Q R T F text A A and P display style p can be calculated from q display style q and thus an estimate of f double a and f a a derived from p 2 display style p caret 2 and 2 p q display style 2 p q respectively Note however, such a population cannot be tested for equilibrium using the significance tests below because it is assumed a priori. Topic significance tests for deviation testing Deviation from the HWP is generally performed using Pearson's chi-squared test, using the observed genotype frequencies obtained from the data and the expected genotype frequencies obtained using the HWP. For systems where there are large numbers of alleles, this may result in data with many empty possible genotypes and low genotype counts, because there are often not enough individuals present in the sample to adequately represent all genotype classes. If this is the case, then the asymptotic assumption of the chi-squared distribution, will no longer hold, and it may be necessary to use a form of Fisher's exact test, which requires a computer to solve. More recently a number of MCMC methods of testing for deviations from HWP have been proposed Guo and Thompson, 1992, Wiginton et al. 2005 Example Chi 2 Display style Chi carrot 2 Test for deviation This data is from EB Ford 1971 on the scarlet tiger moth, for which the phenotypes of a sample of the population were recorded. Genotype-phenotype distinction is assumed to be negligibly small. The null hypothesis is that the population is in Hardy-Weinberg proportions, and the alternative hypothesis is that the population is not in Hardy-Weinberg proportions. 
From this, allele frequencies can be calculated. P equals two times O B S double A plus O B S A A two times O B S double A plus O B S A A plus O B S A A equals fourteen sixty nine times two plus one hundred and thirty eight two times fourteen sixty nine plus one hundred and thirty eight plus five equals three oh seven six three two two four equals zero point nine five four display style begin aligned P and equals two times mathram OBS text double A plus mathram OBS text AA over two times mathram OBS text double A plus mathram OBS text AA plus mathram OBS text AA and equals fourteen sixty nine times two plus one hundred and thirty eight over two times four 1469 plus 138 plus 5 and equals 3076 over 3224 and equals 0 0.954 end aligned and Q equals 1 minus P equals 1 minus 0 0.954 equals 0 0.046 display style begin aligned Q and equals 1 P and equals 1 to 0 0.954 and equals 0 O four six end aligned. So the Hardy Weinberg expectation is EXP double A equals P two N equals zero point nine five four two times one thousand six hundred and twelve equals one thousand four hundred and sixty seven point four EXP AA equals two PQN equals two times zero point nine five four times zero point zero four six times sixteen twelve equals one hundred and forty one point two EXP AA equals Q two N equals zero point zero four six two times one thousand six hundred and twelve equals three 3.4 display style begin aligned mathram exp text double a and equals p carrot 2 n equals 0.954 carrot 2 times 1612 equals 1467.4 mathram exp text aa and equals 2 pqn equals 2 times 0.954 times 0.046 times 1612 equals 141.2 mathram exp text aa and equals q carrot 2 n equals 0.046 Six carat two times sixteen twelve equals three four end aligned Pearson's chi squared test states chi two equals O minus E two E equals fourteen sixty nine minus one thousand four hundred and sixty seven point four two 1467.4 plus 138 minus 141.2 to 141.2 plus 5 minus 3.4 to 3 4 equals 0 0.001 plus 0 0.073 plus 0 0.756 equals 0 0.83. Display style begin aligned chi carrot 2 and equals sum o e carrot 2 over e and equals 1469 1467.4 carrot 2 over 1467.4 plus 138 to 141.2 2 over 141.2 plus 5 to 3.4 carrot 2 over 3.4 and equals 0 0.001 plus 0 0.073 plus 0 0.756 and equals 0 0.83 end aligned there is one degree of freedom degrees of freedom for test for Hardy Weinberg proportions are hash genotypes minus hash alleles. The 5% significance level for one degree of freedom is 3.84, and since the chi 2 value is less than this, the null hypothesis that the population is in Hardy Weinberg frequencies is not rejected. Topic: Fisher's exact test probability test. Fisher's exact test can be applied to testing for Hardy-Weinberg proportions. Since the test is conditional on the allele frequencies p and q, the problem can be viewed as testing for the proper number of heterozygotes. 
In this way, the hypothesis of Hardy-Weinberg proportions is rejected if the number of heterozygotes is too large or too small. The conditional probabilities for the heterozygote, given the allele frequencies, are given in ME as prob n 12 n 1 equals n n 11 n 12 n 22 2 n n 1 n 2 2 n 12 Display style operator name prob n underscore twelve n underscore one equals frac binum n n underscore eleven n underscore twelve n underscore twenty two binum two n n underscore one n underscore two two carrot n underscore twelve where n eleven n twelve n twenty two are the observed numbers of the three genotypes double a a and a respectively and n one is the number of a alleles where n one equals two N eleven plus N twelve display style N underscore one equals two N underscore eleven plus N underscore twelve. An example using one of the examples from ME nineteen eighty, we can consider the case where N topic one hundred and P. 0.34 The possible observed heterozygotes and their exact significance level is given in Table 4. Using this table, one must look up the significance level of the test based on the observed number of heterozygotes. For example, if one observed 20 heterozygotes, the significance level for the test is 0.007, as is typical for Fisher's exact test for small samples. The gradation of significance levels is quite coarse. However, a table like this has to be created for every experiment, since the tables are dependent on both n and p. Topic: Inbreeding coefficient. The inbreeding coefficient f, see also f statistics, is one minus the observed frequency of heterozygotes over that expected from Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. f equals e f a a minus o f a a e f a a equals 1 minus o f a a e f a a Display style f equals frac operator name e f text a a operator name o f text a a operator name e f text a a equals one frac operator name o f text a a operator name e f text a a, where the expected value from Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium is given by e f a a equals two p q Display style operator name E F text A A equals two PQ. For example, for Ford's data above, F equals one minus one hundred and thirty eight one hundred and forty one point two equals zero point zero two three. Display style F equals one one hundred and thirty eight over one hundred and forty one point two equals zero point zero two three. For two alleles, the chi squared goodness of fit test for Hardy Weinberg proportions is equivalent to the test for inbreeding, f equals zero. The inbreeding coefficient is unstable as the expected value approaches zero, and thus not useful for rare and very common alleles. For E 0, O greater than 0, F minus infinity and E. Topic zero O zero F is undefined. Topic History Mendelian genetics were rediscovered in nineteen hundred. 
however, it remained somewhat controversial for several years as it was not then known how it could cause continuous characteristics. Whitney Ewell 1902 argued against Mendelism because he thought that dominant alleles would increase in the population. The American William E. Castle 1903 showed that without selection, the genotype frequencies would remain stable. Carl Pearson 1903 found one equilibrium position with values of p. Topic Q. 0.5 Reginald Punnett, unable to counter Yule's point, introduced the problem to G. H. Hardy, a British mathematician with whom he played cricket. Hardy was a pure mathematician and held applied mathematics in some contempt. His view of biologists' use of mathematics comes across in his 1908 paper where he describes this as very simple. To the editor of Science, I am reluctant to intrude in a discussion concerning matters of which I have no expert knowledge, and I should have expected the very simple point which I wish to make to have been familiar to biologists. However, some remarks of Mr. Whitney Yule, to which Mr. R. C. Punnett has called my attention, suggest that it may still be worth making. Suppose that AA is a pair of Mendelian characters, A being dominant, and that in any given generation the number of pure dominants AA, heterozygotes AA, and pure recessives AA are as P, 2Q, R. Finally, suppose that the numbers are fairly large, so that mating may be regarded as random, that the sexes are evenly distributed among the three varieties, and that all are equally fertile. A little mathematics of the multiplication table type is enough to show that in the next generation the numbers will be as p plus q 2 to 2 p plus q q plus r sad face q plus r 2 or as p 1 to 2 q 1 r 1 say The interesting question is in what circumstances will this distribution be the same as that in the generation before It is easy to see that the condition for this is q 2 Topic PR and since Q12, P1 R1, whatever the values of P, Q, and R may be, the distribution will in any case continue unchanged after the second generation. The principle was thus known as Hardy's Law in the English speaking world until 1943, when Kurt Stern pointed out that it had first been formulated independently in 1908 by the German physician Wilhelm Weinberg. William Castle in 1903 also derived the ratios for the special case of equal allele frequencies, and it is sometimes but rarely, called the Hardy Weinberg Castle Law. Topic. Derivation of Hardy's equations Hardy's statement begins with a recurrence relation for the frequencies p, 2q, and r. These recurrence relations follow from fundamental concepts in probability, specifically independence, and conditional probability. For example, consider the probability of an offspring from the generation t being homozygous dominant. Alleles are inherited independently from each parent. A dominant allele can be inherited from a homozygous dominant parent with probability 1, or from a heterozygous parent with probability 0.5. To represent this reasoning in an equation, let a t display style text style a underscore t represent inheritance of a dominant allele from a parent. Furthermore, let a a t Minus one display style text style double a underscore t one and a a t minus one display style text style a a underscore t one represent potential parental genotypes in the preceding generation. P t equals p a T A T equals P A T two equals P A T A A T minus one P A A T minus one Plus P A T A A T minus one P 
a a t minus 1 2 equals 1 p t minus 1 plus 0 5 2 q t minus 1 2 equals p t minus 1 plus q t minus 1 2 display style begin aligned p underscore t and equals p a underscore t a underscore t equals p a underscore t carrot 2 and equals left p a underscore t double a underscore t 1 p double a underscore t 1 plus p a underscore t a a underscore t 1 p a a underscore t 1 right carrot 2 and equals left 1 p underscore t 1 plus Plus zero point five two q underscore t one right carrot two and equals left p underscore t one plus q underscore t one right carrot two end aligned the same reasoning applied to the other genotypes yields the two remaining recurrence relations. Equilibrium occurs when each proportion is constant between subsequent generations. More formally, a population is at equilibrium at generation t display style text style t when Zero equals P T minus P T minus one display style text style zero equals P underscore T P underscore T one zero equals Q T minus Q T minus one Display style text style zero equals q underscore t q underscore t one and zero equals r t minus r t minus one display style text style zero equals r underscore t r underscore t one by solving these equations necessary and sufficient conditions for equilibrium to occur can be determined. Again, consider the frequency of homozygous dominant animals. Equilibrium implies 0 equals pt minus pt minus 1 equals pt minus 1 2 plus 2 pt minus 1 qt minus 1 plus qt minus 1 2 minus pt minus 1 display style begin aligned 0 and equals p underscore t p underscore t1 and equals p underscore t1 carrot 2 plus 2 p underscore t1 q underscore t1 plus q underscore t1 carrot 2 p underscore t1 end aligned first consider the case where pt minus 1 equals Zero display style text style p underscore t one equals zero, and note that it implies that q t minus one equals zero display style text style q underscore t one equals zero, and r t minus one equals one display style text style r underscore t one equals one. Now consider the remaining case where p t minus one display style text style p underscore t one does not equal zero display style text style zero zero equals p t minus one p t minus one plus two Q T minus one plus Q T minus one two P T minus one minus one equals Q T minus one two P T minus one minus R T minus one display style begin aligned zero and equals P underscore T one P underscore T one plus two Q underscore T one plus Q underscore T one carrot two P underscore T one minus one and equals Q underscore T one carrot two P underscore T one R underscore T one end aligned where the final equality holds because the allele proportions must sum to one. 
In both cases, QT minus one two equals PT minus one RT minus one. Display style text style Q underscore T one carrot two equals P underscore T one R underscore T one. It can be shown that the other two equilibrium conditions imply the same equation. Together, the solutions of the three equilibrium equations imply sufficiency of Hardy's condition for equilibrium. Since the condition always holds for the second generation, all succeeding generations have the same proportions. Topic: Numerical example. An example computation of the genotype distribution given by Hardy's original equations is instructive. The phenotype distribution from Table 3 above will be used to compute Hardy's initial genotype distribution. Note that the p and q values used by Hardy are not the same as those used above. Sum equals OBS AA plus 2 times OBS AA plus OBS AA equals 1469 plus 2 times 138 plus 5 equals 1750. Display style begin aligned text sum and equals mathrm OBS text AA plus 2 times mathrm OBS text AA plus mathrm OBS text AA equals 1469 plus 2 times 138 plus 5 and equals 1750. End aligned p equals 1469. 1750 equals 0. 83943 2q equals 2 times 138 1750 equals 0 0.15771 r equals 51750 equals 0 0.00286 display style begin aligned p and equals 1469 over 1750 equals 0 0.83943 2 q and equals 2 times 138 over 1750 equals 0 0.15771 r and equals 5 over 1750 equals 0 0.00286 end aligned as checks on the distribution compute p plus 2q plus r equals 0 0.83943 plus 0 0.15771 plus 0 0.00286 equals 1.00000 display style p plus 2q plus r equals 0 0.83943 plus 0 0.15771 plus 0 0.00286 equals 1.00000 and e0 equals q2 minus P R equals zero point zero zero three eight two display style E underscore zero equals Q carrot two P R equals zero point zero zero three eight two for the next generation Hardy's equations give Q equals zero point one five seven seven one two equals zero O seven eight eight six P one equals P plus Q two equals zero point eight four three two five two Q one equals two P plus Q Q plus R equals zero point one five zero zero seven R one equals Q plus R two equals zero point zero zero six six eight Display style begin aligned q and equals 0 0.15771 over 2 equals 0 0.07886 p underscore 1 and equals p plus q carrot 2 equals 0 0.84325 2 q underscore 1 and equals 2 p plus q q plus r equals 0 0.15007 r underscore 1 and equals q plus r carrot 2 equals 0 0.00668 end aligned again as checks on the distribution compute p1 plus Plus two Q one plus R one equals zero point eight four three two five plus zero point one five zero zero seven plus zero point zero zero six six eight equals one. O O O O O Display style P underscore one plus two Q underscore one plus R underscore one equals zero point eight four three two five plus zero point one five zero zero seven plus zero point zero zero six six eight equals one point zero 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 and E one equals Q one two minus P one R one equals zero point zero 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 Display style E underscore one equals Q underscore one carrot two P underscore one R underscore one equals zero point zero 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 Which are the expected values? The reader may demonstrate that subsequent use of the second generation values for a third generation will yield identical results. Topic: Graphical representation. It is possible to represent the distribution of genotype frequencies for a biallelic locus within a population graphically using a De Finetti diagram. 
This uses a triangular plot also known as trilinear, triaxial or ternary plot to represent the distribution of the three genotype frequencies in relation to each other. It differs from many other such plots in that the direction of one of the axes has been reversed. The curved line in the diagram is the Hardy-Weinberg parabola and represents the state where alleles are in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. It is possible to represent the effects of natural selection and its effect on allele frequency on such graphs. The De Finetti diagram has been developed and used extensively by A. W. F. Edwards in his book Foundations of Mathematical Genetics. See also Regression toward the mean Multinominal distribution Hardy-Weinberg is a trinomial distribution with probabilities Theta 2 2 Theta 1 minus Theta 1 minus Theta 2 Display style theta carrot two two theta one theta one theta carrot two additive disequilibrium and Z statistic. <laughs>